Hello plant fam and welcome back to my channel. My name's Jeff if you're new here and I just got back from Target and if you know and if you're a plant parent and if you're in the house plant community um, you know that our guy our guy Hilton Carter just dropped his new line at Target that includes plant stands includes some faux plants includes some planters and I just went to check my local Target and I came back with a haul. So I'm gonna show you what I got from Hilton Carter's new line at Target. But before we get started with the new drop, I wanted to show you the pieces that I picked up from Hilton Carter's first drop at Target. This was about two years ago, back in around May 2020, 2020, 2021. Um, so the first item that I knew I had to get my hands on is this watering can right here. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> um, back when I first started, when I got into houseplants, my first watering can that I got was from Ikea. I think it was a $1 or 99 cents um, watering can. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. It was a big, it was, I wanna say it was a medium sized one. I think it was like an aquamarine color. Um, but yeah, it was just made out of plastic and with the amount of plants that I um, have gotten since I started getting into my plant journey, I wanted something, something purposeful and something that I really liked. Um, to use to water my plants. So when this came out, this was perfect. Little Hilton Carter hit down at the bottom. Love how big it is. Also love the big handle and the little faux leather strap at the top here. So it gives a little bit of grip of when you're pouring. But love this watering can. Also wanted to finally get an official set of pruning, pruning shears. Just because I was tired of using my kitchen scissors, tired of using my craft scissors, but now this is specifically only used for plants, cutting off the dead leaves, trimming some of those long vines. And I love that it comes with a little, little protector. So that way, if it falls down on the ground um, by accident, or if my little baby girl grabs it, it's staying safe. But of course, making sure that is not in grabbing distance of my toddler. Um, yeah, love these guys. Last was my big, big planter. The texture on this guy is super fun. Hadn't seen any other pots like this at the time, so I knew I had to get this also. Love the white and the little specks of, I wanna say black. So it adds a little look of a little bit of texture onto it also. Also, what's great about this, comes with a little built-in drip tray. Yeah. <laughs> um, right now, how I'm using it is just as a decorative pot. Uh, right now, my yucca plant is just in it. Uh, I don't have it planted directly into it yet, it's still in its nursery pot, but eventually once I once it outgrows that nursery pot, my plan is to probably most likely plant it into here. Um, and then it does have drainage. So when I do water my plants, it makes it easier to get rid of that excess water because of the drip tray. All right. So these were the first pieces that I picked up from Hilton Carter's first line, first drop at Target. And I knew when he announced, oops, when he announced he was coming out with a second one, I did not want to miss miss out on getting his new pieces from the second line. Um, but let me show you what these look like around my house and have them set up, especially my watering can and my shears. Now, if you're like me, you have plants all over your house. I have plants in my living room, I have plants in my bedroom, plants in the bathroom, plants in the other living room. Um, so I always am carrying this watering can around and I always misplace it. And anytime I need it, I'm always walking from one room to another room and I'm never sure where I left it last. So to make sure I never, never lose or misplace my watering can, um, these are my kitchen shelves. All I did was add a little, it's not an S hook. I don't know, it's just like a, just a hook. And I just screwed it underneath the bottom of my shelves. So after I'm done watering, I wanna make sure it goes back to the shelf so I'll never lose it again. So I gave it a specific home. So anytime I need it, I know it should be back on that hook. Same thing with my scissors or my shears, placing them right here. Too beautiful to put away and hide. And I love these pieces. So I wanted to make sure they were displayed with the rest of my plants. So these guys always live here. So when I'm done, put them back. So when I need it again, I know where they're gonna be. But yeah, these guys still live here. Now this is my yucca plant. I've had this plant for, I wanna say about three, three, two to three years, two to three years, maybe almost coming up to three years. By far, one of the easiest plants that I have. Um, it's really a drought tolerant plant. So I don't, I really maybe water once a month and not even that much, but yeah, once a month. And I love how thick the little stem is, or not the stem, the trunk of this guy is, and all the little shoots on the side where the leaves are coming from. But yeah, right now it's still in its nursery pot, but I think it looks really good. 
with a Hilton Carter line here. Um, but eventually, once it does outgrow this, it's nursery pot and it's time to repot, I'll probably most likely um, pot it directly into that, into that pot because it does have drainage and that extra drip tray to catch all the water. But yeah, this is my Yuka plant and Hilton Carter pot. All right, let's get to the new stuff. All right, these are my three, three new pots that I got from Hilton Carter's new line. Um, these are just the first three. Did I go a little overboard? Maybe, maybe, but I gotta support, gotta support my guy. I've been following Hilton um, ever since I got into my plant journey, which started three, five years ago. Um, and he's been such an inspiration for me and the plant community and just seeing his growth and seeing how far he's come, all the things he's accomplished. Um, so congrats, shout out to you, Hilton, if you ever see this video. Big fan, appreciate all the stuff you're doing. Um, so yeah, had to show, had to show my guy, had to show my guy <laughs> um, support. And yeah, a little overboard, but I don't regret it because I love each piece at all. And again, it's a limited time, so I didn't want to pass up on something, regret it, and the next thing you know, try and get it, and it's gone. So let's start off with first, these footed planters here. First one I got here, just this white one. Love, I'm always a fan of classic, simple white with plants. Um, so yeah, first one here, this one's about, I wanna say it will fit a six inch, six inch, six inch pot. I don't think it'll fit an eight inch. So I wanna say six and below, under. This is a good one. Um, and the reason why I think, uh, I believe Hilton was saying the footed planters, so that way it allows for a little bit of airflow to get to your soil. So that way it dries up a little bit faster. Um, it does have a drainage hole and a drain plug. So if you directly plant in here, just take out that drain plug. Um, and that way it has its built-in drip tray, easy for you to dump the excess water out when you're done watering it. So this is the white ceramic. Then, need I say more? Need I say more? Look at these. These are the terracotta versions. So let me put this one here. Did I need both sizes? No. Did I want both sizes? Yes. <laughs> we all, plant parents, we all know we have that, we have that storage or that shelf full of empty pots um, that are just waiting to be used. So I, I already have an idea of what I'm going to put in these plants, but I'll play around and I'll show you guys some options. What do you think is better? Just let me know, let me know in the comments below. But same concept, that footed planter, built-in drip tray at the bottom, better airflow. Um, once you take that drainage plug down at the bottom, again, this one's a six inch size, but look at that texture. Look at that texture. And for me, always winning combo, terracotta and plants. I just love that green look um, against the terracotta color. And I love that this one has a little bit of texture, little geometric patterns, different shapes here. So this one's, love this one. And gotta go, big daddy, big daddy. This one I know will fit in an eight inch. 8 incher. As far as 10 inch, I, I don't even think I've seen 10 inch, 10 inch nursery pots. Maybe now you just start going um, to a bigger, maybe the bigger gallon. Um, but it'll definitely fit an 8 inch nursery pot. Um, so this is, I have an idea what I'm going to use for this, but let me show you again after pretty soon. But yeah, similar two planters here, just different sizes. And this white one, I didn't see if it came in a bigger size. It does come in a black, black glazed ceramic and it also comes in a mini size so i've seen the black one um and those come in three sizes i think the first one is maybe a four inch four inch one and then this one would be the six inch and then it would come in that eight inch this size but just black um as far as the white ones i didn't see it come in any other size at my local target so maybe you might have bigger sizes at your target and same thing with the ter terracotta ones those came in three sizes so i got the middle the largest, and then there's another one that comes in maybe a two inch, four incher size, also that footed planter. Love these guys, but let me show you the big boys. So what I got next, and definitely had my eye out on those when Hilton Carter previewed his line. So let me show you. Now these are two that I had my eyes 100% set on when um, the line got previewed by Hilton Carter. So I love the other three, definitely the ones that I got showed earlier, but these two, the planter plus the metal plant stands, I had to, had to have, especially this one. Um, 
then I saw this one in person. I was like, I can't, I can't leave the one by itself. So I had to get, the, had to get the pair. Um, so let's go ahead and first talk about. Let's go with this one. <laughs> ah, so this one's here, a little bit shorter in height when it comes to the pot. Um, as far as width wise, it's pretty big. It comes also with a big drainage hole down in the middle here. Um, this one, I don't know if it says what size. It's called, it says Standby Tree. I guess it has a name. So this one's called Standby Tree. Um, one of my favorites in the collection, style outdoors or indoor. Yeah, that's it. Planter plus stand. Oh, here it is. So the planter height is about seven and five eighth inches. And as far as the width wise, 12 inches. So if you have a 12 inch planter or a 12 inch um, plant, it'll definitely fit inside this. So 12 and less, but love the height of this guy. Look at the shape of the metal plant stand. Um, this also came in two colors, in this terracotta color and also a concrete color. But like I said earlier, terracotta and green plants is just perfection, perfection for me. So I'm always a sucker when it comes to terracotta. So love the combo of this guy. Now this mm, was the one I knew I had to have. This one, is there a name for this one? This one's called, nope, same thing, just a standby, standby tree, same tag. Planch blood sand. So this one, height of the height of the pot is eight, about eight and 15, 16 inches in height. That's weird. <laughs> um, and then the diameter is about a little bit less than 10 inches, a little diameter for 10 inches. So for this one, this will fit. 10 inches and below your width of your plant. It also has a drainage hole, but ooh, I just love how this one, the metal comes all the way to the top of the terracotta. This one also came in a concrete color, but I had to, again, go with my favorite terracotta. And I love the terracotta and the black. A little shorter stand, so this one's a little shorter um, compared to this one here. But again, how to get both. Can't get one without the other. Well, at least for me, so I had to, had to pair them up. So, Ah, lots of terracotta in my collection now. It was so sad when I went to my first Target, they had this and the concrete one, but the terracotta one, the terracotta one was cracked, so I was so disappointed because they only had one. Um, so I had to check out another Target, and luckily they had this one, and it wasn't cracked, so love this guy. Here. So here's the whole gang. So I get three smaller ones at the bottom, and the two planter plus stands in the back. Love them all, very terracotta heavy, but again, I love, I'm a big fan of terracotta matching it with green plants. So let me do a little snap of the fingers and show you a few of them. Um, with plants inside, not sure if it's final yet about the plants, might switch them around, but these are the ideas I have for a few of these plants um, to go in these planters. Here we go. And filled with plants now. <laughs> so um, again, not sure or not 100% sure which plants I'm gonna put in here, but I just grabbed a few now that I think might have, um, might choose. But first one, let's go ahead and put it down. It's a little hard to see, especially when they're on the table. So this one is my one Calathea I have in my collection. So this is my Calathea Makoyana, also known as the Peacock Calathea. So this one, if I turn around, I think that. Oh, where is it? Like that. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good right here. Or I might switch it out, but we'll see. But yep, yeah, this one's here. And then this one, because it is a short pot, I was looking maybe to put a snake plant in here, something a little bit taller. So it adds a little bit more height. Not sure if I want to add this one. This is my um, Sansberry Lorienti, Lor Lorienti. <laughs> so I have this one and I also have um, the regular snake plant, which is the all green one. So trying out this one, but I kind of do like the snake plant. In this one so it adds a little bit more height or we'll see or maybe we'll switch it up Ooh, this one i might have to chop or not chop trim the plastic planter on this one because it is sticking out of the smaller pot or what do we think that that maybe it doesn't look too bad no no i think i like it in the taller one in the taller one instead so for now we'll go with these two for now, now let me show you the other three. I think I have an idea of what I want in those ones. All right, and this is what I've decided for the other three. First one, we'll go with this terracotta here. Again, I love the pattern of the terracotta on here, so I didn't want anything too long or 
trailing or vining to cover that pattern. So I wanted something a little bit vertical. So I love the Cebu, Cebu blue here. I was thinking either the Cebu blue or in the back, the Monstera Peru. Let's switch that one out. See what this looks like here. Oops. And boom. There you go. That's the Monstera Peru. So again, wanted something a little bit staked so that way you can see the pattern. Ooh, I like that. Look at that. A little like dark green, dark green foliage with a terracotta. We'll see. So I'm going back and forth with maybe these two, the Peru or the Cebu. I think I'm leaning a little bit more. Yeah, maybe more towards that Cebu Blue. Let me know in the comments what you think below. Cebu Blue or the Monstera Peru for this terracotta. This one, the bigger one. Ah, look at it. It's so pretty. The Birkin, Philodendron Birkin. It looks so good here. A little bit lower leaves are covering the pattern, but not too much where you can, it's fully covered. But I like the combination of the dark green and the white foliage of the Birkin along with that terracotta. Put that down. And my last one here, my white. All white one. This one I added with uh, my Baltic blue. And I think this one looks so good with that green against that plain white. So again, trying it out. See if I like it within a week, if I want to change it out. Um, I probably will, but we'll see. This is just a start for now. But again, love all of the planters I got from the Hilton Carter line. These three and the two in the back corners. Let me know below if you picked up anything. Um, from the Hilton Carter line or let me know what you think about the combinations of the planters and the plants uh, Or if you'd like them or if you'd switch them out with a different plant All right. Until next time. Bye